If you have a photo that has a person that has some acne in it and you'd like to clear up that acne, you get a couple different ways. Um, if you go over to your toolbox, you have either the spot healing brush tool or the healing brush tool. Now the spot healing brush tool tries to make it a little bit easier um, to do to cover the acne, but I feel like I get more control over the healing brush tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Then I'm going to zoom up actually on here so I can get a closer look at the acne and where I need to go. And you can get closer if you like or you can stay further back. It depends what kind of details you want to get. Um, I'm going to go back up and choose my healing brush tool. Up at the top I can change the brush size if I want to get a smaller brush. I can also change the hardness or the spacing of the brush. I'm going to actually just make it a little bit smaller here. A um, mode I recommend that you stay the same. And you could go ahead and do a sampled if you'd like. You could do a pattern, but on acne, really sampled works the best. Now, first of all, what you need to do is you need to actually define the color that you want to use to cover the acne. So I like to find the acne and then go to a spot right beside it that's clear. Hold down your Alt key on your keyboard and then click to select that spot. And then without holding down your Alt key, go to the acne and go ahead and you can either press or you can um, just brush over a little bit and it's going to cover that acne. Let me scroll down here. And once again, I'm going to use the Alt key and I'm going to get it right beside there so I get the same kind of texture. And then I'm going to use that to remove that acne. And of course, if it doesn't look quite right, you can go and you can try to fix it a little bit more. Like here, I had a shadow. I can replace that and that looks a lot better. And you could continue to do this until you get all the acne on the face removed. And you can go as detailed as you want, removing every little mark, or you can leave just a little. Probably nobody's going to zoom up this close on your picture and see. It's because you can also use this to remove um, any sort of imperfections in the face as well, such as um, an eyebrow, hair out of place. You can remove that. And you could continue to just work until you have removed all of the acne from the face. And that's how you remove acne in Photoshop using the healing brush.